Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about hardware alerts, or the alerts mechanism in Wireless Workbench 6 that can draw your attention to any device errors or conditions that arise. Wireless Workbench can connect to a number of Sure networked systems, and this network connection can allow us to monitor any relevant alert or error conditions that the user may care about. So the beautiful thing about the ability to monitor all these alerts is when an issue arises, we can let you know, hey, this particular issue is happening with this channel. Here's how you may want to respond. The mechanism we use is called hardware alerts. And hardware alerts, uh, you can see, is a dialog located in the toolbar of Wireless Workbench. Now, right now it's empty, but basically what this is is a uh, dialog that will show a list of any active or recently active alerts that Wireless Workbench has detected. So let me give you a demonstration here. Now, this dialog, uh, you know, typically, if I were coordinating a set of uh, wireless systems or running a show, I wouldn't have this dialog open. But right now, um, watch uh, when I create an audio overload, that's one particular event we're monitoring. So I'll do that by smacking this handheld real quick. You'll notice when I smack that handheld, an audio meter overload occurs, and this dialog pops up. Uh, also, you'll notice there's a badge on this hardware alerts button indicating I've got one active alert. What I'm going to do is create an RF overload event as well, and you'll see that when I do that, another audio, um, another hardware alert rather, appears, RF overload. And that one, its color is changing, red to indicate when that alert is active, and white to indicate when that alert is inactive. So this dialog basically can serve as a dashboard to show you any uh, of a number of conditions or events that you may be concerned about. Now this dialogue popping up, uh, we've done that on purpose to get your attention in the case of an alert that you care about uh, occurs. But if that is at all annoying or you want to change that, um, all of that's configurable in preferences. So right now you'll notice uh, the device and the channel for which this alert occurred uh, is shown here as well as some text that explains what just happened. Uh, in this case, an RF overload and an audio meter overload for this particular channel. Also, you'll notice there's a timestamp that says this happened less than a minute ago, and as time progresses forward, unless these events occur again, uh, become active again, that is, um, this timestamp will continue to increase. So right now what I'll do is I'll just remove these inactive alerts, clearing this dialog, and I want to go into preferences to show you exactly how these alerts are working, what events they're listening to, and how you can configure that dialog. So in Preferences, if we navigate to the Alerts tab, I'll expand this window a bit to show you this full list of hardware alerts um, that Wireless Workbench is capable of detecting. And you'll notice that some are turned on and some are turned off. Um, if I wanted to monitor some of these different um, events or, you know, audio meter overload isn't something that I really care about, I can simply turn this alert off and that will silence any of the alerts that Wireless Workbench would generate uh, in the interface. Some of these top alerts are pretty interesting. You can actually set the threshold for them if a threshold is pertinent. So, you know, my, my handheld transmitter only has about an hour and 20 minutes left of battery life, and I've configured this thing to uh, send me alert when there are um, only 30 minutes left, but if I were to change this to 90 minutes and apply this change, you'll notice um, that a hardware alert will pop up once that change takes place. Uh, there it goes, it's behind preferences to say, hey, there's less than 90 minutes left on your battery life. So this can be a great way to keep track of transmitters as uh, rechargeable batteries slowly drain more and more. Just as a note, the number of minutes left on a battery is a feature that's exclusive to Sure Rechargeable batteries. Another reason why the Sure Rechargeable solution is so valuable is you can tell in hours and minutes how much life you've got left. So I mentioned that uh, you know this alert dialog popping up it may be helpful in some circumstances, but for others or for certain use cases it could be really annoying. Um, this checkbox here, open hardware alerts dialog when hardware alerts occurs, can be unchecked. And what this will do is, if hardware alerts happen, you'll still get the um, this little dashboard icon with the badge showing you how many alerts are there, and this guy will turn red. All in the toolbar, that'll still happen, but the alert dialog will not pop up uh, in the event of any alert happening. So I can create another audio event. Um, you see I'm clipping on my channel strip and I've now got two hardware alerts and I'll create an RF overload here and you see you know, all those events are there but these new, uh, these new alert conditions didn't cause the dialog to open which is kind of nice. So these hardware alerts are very flexible and the whole goal of them is to let you configure what it is you want the application to tell you um, in a runtime sort of environment. 
Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions, comments, or requests for other sorts of tutorials in the same vein, please be sure to leave us a comment down below. Thank you.